making moves in a super sum of money over 50,000 rand to invest in a business. 13 entrepreneurs will get a chance to showcase their businesses. Business, business. Each entrepreneur will get an opportunity to pitch for this investment into their business. The judges will use their own discretion. We'll go through to our final episode where they will battle it out for the grand prize. Google like making moves in Jalong Komsomblugo go 2 p.m. Quiz ABC1. Mzansi for sure. This is what we've been building up to for the past three months. Namtanji, elaman nga mugu money in the bank series yet. Ukumbu le ugu tige el lot alala ma business es na lo lapa gu top for yet. Lunga stola zentanche in ilpumele lo unalom kumele om kuluganga uka 50,000 rand investment ku business lao. Lapa gu making moves si goni sama business angu 13 asu asu gen. Wona la ma business. Got a full fusa, footy, a petunga, panta bashagi bagulil. Competition has been stiff. Got one. Lama business, a man is now lap. You want to get toes, the same as such is weight. Kunga on Jebe Nati Gilana Nam Taj. Ukumbu, the stage is set for one last chance to win the prize. There will be no second chances, no time to fluff. Winner takes all. Gabo Banos of Pumele. Pumele. The stage. Is set. And I've handed in my resignations. His strength is in his work. That we are not visible in our center. That she loves her brand. We have our cobbler in house. His business, we understand, we can relate to. Two kids, two dogs, like a zig tree. The cobbler is investing in the right space. She looking into what the lapa pitch. We we. I just um I'm I'm. And like um, forty thousand three hundred and. He can have more money in his bank account by finding a different service provider. Yes, you don't you know, know that. are the two judges that will be helping Pepsi to make a decision on which entrepreneur deserves to walk away with the 50,000 rand investment prize. Abigail Guluse, she's the founder of Tushia Advisory Services, providing design and implementation of SMEs and entrepreneurial development program. Dr. Lucas Muloi is the founder and CEO of the Chunto Group, a black-owned company with interest in property, entertainment, and consulting. The stage is set. For our first entrepreneur to go meet the judges. Go to Anga Pambo Uti and Agosuma business way to Ayofan and Ama Churches way. I guess he's with Mukeshuakanga Pambilin Uti in Galenses. Footy, Wabona and Janigama Tuba Ayo Galens is a lay. Cool a pitch. Therefore, from the Fika Consulting Company, I think he stands a great chance of winning. Firstly, because of um, his business model, he stands a higher uh, chance of. Uh, being sustainable and actually growth in it. He wants to start training and developing the youth in, within his area into furniture manufacturing. His business can be profitable because of the product that he's manufacturing. Babul Shaba? Mr. Mzalos. What are Ah, uh, nervous, <laughs> nervous, but I'm ready to do my best. Yeah, Baba. Let you be a lot, one. It's catch your size foot now, so. Bafo, mo pa ezil ali kitu be less billy gela. Yes. All the best in this one. Baba. Shona kona baglindi lene. Yeah, Baba. Thank. Good afternoon, how are you? Afternoon, sir. Good and you? Fantastic. You look sharp, man. Congratulations. You've come yeah. looking the part. Yeah. Thank you. I think uh, he's, yeah. he's yeah. taking the time yeah. to yeah. look yeah. proper. Yeah. Definitely. All right, <laughs> let's hope your pitch is as good. You've got three minutes. Talk to us. All right. Uh, from the last pitch, uh, I've learned a lot from, uh, from the judges and my coach. So uh, we've done a bit of research on the market, on the, on the furniture industry market. We've managed to, to approach some of the big shops to supply them with furniture, and they're willing to come on board. 
uh, we, 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 we research on, uh, on a part of pricing. So our prices will be fair and honest. And then on a, on a product consistency, our products should be consistent in terms of renovations more especially. And then we're still looking at uh, buying the furniture on using, uh, on buying the, the machines with the 50,000 rands. And then that, that offer, that, that still stands. And then I've handed in my resignations from the, from, the, from the last time that we spoke about so I can concentrate more on the business and turn the revenues around. And then we've cut the, the prices, uh, the, the, the percentage on the, um, on the on the charity that we, we we sponsoring, so we saw that it's it's not entirely our business to to sponsor them with, with as much money that we we're doing in the business. So we want to push the business forward by cutting the the costs of of the, of the charity, and then by me being in the business full time, it will help the business to move forward. So we'll be sponsoring, we'll be we'll be supplying uh, Crafters Market again. We got a contract again with Crafters Market. We'll be supplying uh, uh, we've got a, a spot at uh, at Lakeside Mall and uh, outside Lakeside Mall that's where we'll be putting our furniture for the market to be sold and then we've, we on the media we, we we've acquired uh, 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 Hill Pro FM we, we with Mapaseka Mukwele and we'll be having uh, uh, an interview soon this week with uh, with my, with my Paseka to to move the business forward, talk about the business and talk about our products and how innovative are they. And so in uh, in the next two in the next two months, we're looking at building a workshop for skills development for young for young people who just left school, so they can uh, perform this craft that you are doing. So we we expanding as a business. So we've got. Uh, a turnover in the last three weeks, we, we've managed to acquire about 25,000 rand from the money that we were making the last months that we, we, we managed to acquire about 25,000 rand. So we've got orders that are coming in consistently and uh, are we making a progress from where we were until where we are today. So as a business, we are happy to say today we can produce quality products by buying machinery. Most of our money we used, the profits we, we buying machinery to invest back into the business. Hence, we need the, the 50,000 rand as a business to move forward, to see the, the South Africa growing by employing more young people and giving them skill. As we know, there's a skills shortage in South Africa, which are people... All right, so most your time them. is up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to launch straight into a quick question and answer okay. session. I'll start myself. Are you ready to start delivering a skills development program? Your business has not settled yet. Are you ready for that? Uh, we, we, we are ready to do that because we'll be doing the workshop separately from, from where we're doing most of the production. What's the benefit to your business for doing the skills development? Uh, the government will be sponsoring the business with more machinery and, and necessity tools that are needed for the business. So the, the machines will be on the, on the skills development center and the other machines will be on... on what what on, government program is this? Uh, I've spoken to Muresi uh, Jabulo. She, she's on to the government. I mean, she actually approached me, how about we do the skills development so you guys can move forward and get more machinery and more tools that uh, are required for the business. Yes. Abigail? Um, I just have one question. I just wanted to find out when exactly would you start full time in the business? Uh, I'm serving my two, two weeks notice. I'm left with two weeks and then uh, this December I'm done with the uh, 9 to 5 job. So um, I'll be busy with the business starting from now in December because we've got orders that we need to finish before January comes. So we know where the business is, where the business needs to go so I could also have the, the list because the accountant asked me for the assets list for of the business so I, I gave them and then I need to make sure every every detail every tool needs to be jotted down on a, on, a, on a black and white so I can supply them for the insurance purposes for the guys that are working knows what's happening in the business now um, the machinery that you are talking about that you want to buy what machinery is this it's a lathe machine the lathe machine yes. you've got a quotations on that yes we, we've okay. got quotations on right. the lathe machines one machine costs about twenty two thousand. Yeah. so we need two of the machines those machines will be making legs yeah. and then the cutting pots to size so that reduces labor time that uh, increases production so the question and answer session is now done good pitch Thank we're going you. to deliberate 
you can step out and we'll call you back a bit later. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think uh, I did my best now. And then uh, now it's up to the churches to decide on how far I go from me. Why are people in Midrand not finding you? Um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm trying to figure that out. As a salon, how do you identify with the cats? For her to win the investment, she needs to motivate how these different things that she's bringing into the business are going to generate sales. I think the judges would like to see that something like 50,000 rands can become 150,000 rands over a period of time. But she needs to motivate how that's going to happen. And I think that was what was missing in her pitch. Uh, Bali, welcome back. Thank you for having me. Okay, the one thing that can kill you today is nervousness. So I need you to take a deep breath. Okay, take another one, count to three, and then exhale. Okay, you didn't count to three. In my head. You've got three minutes. Your pitch starts now. I am Bali Mwabe, proud owner of Kitty's Corner Hair Salon. I am the mommy that understands the frustrations that mommies and daddies go through when they have to do their child's hair. So, with the 50k cash injection, this is how th this is a strategy that we're going to use to um, for our business. Firstly, our strategy is going to be used for marketing. So currently, we're only using social media and Josie Kids, as well as our customer referrals for our marketing purposes. We are in North Riding, but however, we are not penetrating the North Riding area. Our customers come from Pretoria, so uh, Pretoria. So we realize that we are not visible in our center, so that the customer that walks into the center cannot see us. Therefore, we want to use the money for branding. So we'll get signage, a bigger sign, because the current sign we have is very small. Pull-up banners for our pop-ups uh, pop at creches as well as schools. And then a, a banner on the fence of our centre. So that will cost us 6,052 rand, 50 cents. We want, we're on Malibongwe Drive, which is one of the busiest roads. So we want to use our tenant pile in there for six months. So that's going to cost us 3,762 Rand. We need a website. So when mommies find out about us, uh, go onto the website, because right now we currently have a landing page and that's going to cost us 6,000 Rand, as well as advertise on the Randberg Sun so that we can target the parents that are at home that probably read the, um, the Randberg Sun, so that we are able to penetrate um, the North Riding area right now. So for marketing, that will be a total of 14,500 Rand. Second strategy that we want to use is enhance our customer's experience. So being in this industry for the past 11 months, I've realized that kids get bored quickly and they tend to get uh, restless and they need to be kept distracted. So we are not able to distract them the way our competitors are doing. So we want to be on par with our competitors. So right now we want to have educational toys 
whilst they wait, so whilst they wait, they, they get to play on the educational toys, as well as a television set. So the television set which plays, which plays kitty programs, your likes of your Dr. McStuffins, as well as your Princess Sophia's. Um, that will cost us 8,000 Rand. That will cost us 8,000 Rand. So what our competitors are doing uh, they have TV stalls on every station that they have. What we want to do differently, what we realize that we, that worked, we've seen that tablets, if you give a child a tablet, they sit still okay. and you can plant. Your, your time's up. Um, we're going to have a question and answer session and you'll be able to provide some points of clarity. So people in Pretoria are finding you online yes. and are finding you on Instagram. Yes. Why are people in Midrand, Randburg, North Riding and other areas close to you not finding you online and on Instagram? Mm -hmm. I, I just, um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm trying to figure that out Pepsi because I really feel that we're not visible in our centre. We are on Malibonga Drive, one of the busiest roads but yet uh, there's no signage, I mean, like all the other tenants have. So I, I really feel that's the problem right now. So if we could, I mean, I've got a school opposite me. I've done flyers, that doesn't work. So it's us not being visible. And the center, I think the center is not a very busy center because the mommies in that center would rather refer to the one that's opposite us when they do find us online. So that's, I think that's the problem. I've realized that's what the problem is. Okay, Abigail? I'm covered, Pepsi. I, I had the question about the location to say mm. visibility is one thing, mm. but being on the right location is another. Mm. And uh, just by saying the center itself is not busy. Mm. So it's basically a destination location, which mm. means mm, visibility will go a certain way, but it's how do you get people to come mm. there? That's probably going to be the trick, but I think I'm covered. I actually don't. I actually don't believe that uh, a location is a problem. Mm -hmm. um, I, I took my daughter uh, to the salon to check to check it out and to see the service and that. Um, a couple of things that came out for me is the center is great. You've got a gym in the center. Um, parents come to the gym and parents will bring their kids to the gym all the time or why are they not bringing them to the salon um, you know so so I think I think what 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 it lacks largely is that uh, you as the center how, how do you feel or, or as a salon how do you identify with the kids your time is up we're going to deliberate and then call you back a bit later thank you thank you I feel Nazi Gule Pitch Lena, it was better than any Okala. I feel like I was a bit calmer. You could hear what I was trying to say this time around. And when was a pendulum my question? Have you forecasted what percentage your costs will go up by? No, I haven't. To wash the sneakers that are worth 300 Rand could then cost me 200 Rand to wash them. So my business way to all and delay you picha. Only to have open my lapana go work fresh. Kapamba to spend a picha good tea hamaganjan. I guess it's with Mukka Shuaki, Yenaga Utin Gaulita. Firstly, personally, I supported what he wants to spend the, the money on, which is buying the container and finding the location purely because his current condition where he's working at, I don't think is conducive and is appropriate for this type of business and for the client's assets. Safety. What fresh? Sure. What are you doing? I don't know. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Good afternoon. Welcome back to Making Moves. Thank you so much for having me. How are you? 
I'm not too bad. Fantastic. I like your sneakers. Thank you. Thank you. They don't look washed and clean, though. They do. They are, actually. It's just the fading of the color. Oh, it's just the fading of the color. Yeah. It concerns me about your products, then. <laughs> he washes them too much. Do you, does he wash them too often? I can't afford new ones. Yeah. I can't afford new ones. All right, we're out here to chit-chat, and uh, we're not your friends. Uh, we're here to decide your fate. You are pitching. You've got three minutes, and then we'll have a quick question and answer. Your three minutes starts now. Hi, everyone. My name is Let's Have from Mokwena, and I'm the founder of Workfresh Sneaker Cleaning and Shoe Care Company. At Workfresh, we offer the following services. Sneaker cleaning, suede refurbishing and cleaning, leather refurbishing and polishing, and footwear repairs, as you can see on the pictures, and shoe shining, of course. What sets us apart is Workfresh, our competitive advantage is a relationship we're building currently with laundromats because as part of our business model, we approach laundromats and we place our services in their, in their facilities just to maximize on the reach of laundromats. And also, our brand is a very mobile brand. This means clients can call us, we come to their houses. And also, cli corporate clients can call us for their events, just like Nike did recently and Gauteng Tourism did recently. Another a competitive advantage that we have is the potential we have to manufacture our own product, which is a product range of polish, and sweat sprays and all of that because of the insights we have because we are the biggest end users of cleaning products right now. In our first year of business, we've cleaned a total of 2,257 pairs of footwear, averaging 188 pairs of footwear a month. This translates to an average of 15,000 in total turnover a month. Now going back to the 50,000, this is what we want to do with our 50,000 because the current need right now for our business is space as we're currently working from home and just like I explained, the number of footwear we're dealing with. So the need we're trying to sort out with this phase of our, of our, of our project, this is a three-step project, is the space need. So with the 50,000, we're going to use 34,500 for the container. This includes the container, the insulation within the container, the foundation and the fencing around the container. And we've also decided to use 15,500 for machinery and stock inside the container because right now we are outsourcing repairing. But now if we have the container and machinery, we'll have our cobbler in-house, which is also gonna get us more effective in terms of turnaround times. With the container in place, we are forecasting a 30% increase in our sales because now we'll have foot traffic and we're able to do more numbers in terms of our footwear, unlike the limitations we have right now in terms of storage. And what that means is that we'll be able to be doing 245 pairs compared to the 188 pairs we're currently doing right now. Because we'd have the machinery, we'd have the container, and we'd have the cobbler in-house. That 245 pairs translates into 19,500 in total turnovers. That's an estimation we're making right now. With the container, the container also gives us an opportunity to answer one, the biggest question in our township right now, skills development. So with the, with the shoe cobbler in place, we are in the process right now of getting him accredited as a professional cobbler. That way, the next step will be for us to provide learnership for students who can be trained to be professional cobblers. At the same time, after being trained, because we'll be developing relationships with laundromats, we'll be able to place them in the laundromats after the training. That's how we're going to be using our uh, 50,000. Let me, let me make sure I understand you. With the 50,000 Rand investment, yes. you forecast a 30% increase in sales yes. that'll come from more foot traffic, so you're being more visible, yes. machinery, and an in-house cobbler. Yes. So you'll be able to do more work and push out product quickly. Yes. All right, um, what about the fact that your costs will increase? Right now you're operating from home, yes. your cost base is very low. My concern is your turnover will increase by 30%, your costs are likely to increase by more than 30%. We've actually considered that, that's why we went to the route of approaching the municipality and negotiating a lease with a lower rate right now. So that's why we, that's how we, we're dealing with that. Have you forecasted what percentage your costs will go up by? No, I haven't. Um, I'd just like to get more clarity on the manufacturing of the products you mentioned. Yes. Um, are you currently manufacturing your own products? And Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Right now we're still doing research. With the insights we have, we're doing research in terms of what kind of products work. Because we are the biggest end users, I'd like to believe, in terms of the shoe care products. So we want to do enough research so that we know when we do a product, it's customized, unlike uh, bark manufacturing. So we want to do a product that speaks to the need. Like for example, when you wash your white sneakers, they have yellow marks. We want to manufacture products that will deal with needs like that.
how much how much percentage of of the public is really using the laundromat? So the laundromat is a traditional business. Mm -hmm. So everywhere you go, there's a laundromat. So I, I can honestly give you a certain percentage to say a certain number uses laundromat. But what we're doing right now, we're maximizing on the reach. Mm -hmm. Like we're having a conversation with a lady in Pretoria who owns a franchise of laundromats, who wants our services and her facility. Mm -hmm. um, for the collection points and when you do the collection and drop-off service, do you actually charge extra for that? Yes, so if you call us to come to your house, we use the AA rate. Okay. to charge you. So we'll say, okay, this is how much your shoes are going to be, this is the quotation. Then for us to come there for collection and deliver, this is the amount. So at the end of the day, the, to, to wash the sneakers that are worth 300 rand could then cost me 200 rand to wash them. I so hope you don't wear 300 rand <laughs> sneakers. I, I, I even wear less of that amount. I wear probably 150 uh, sneakers. I won't say the name. That concerns me greatly. I only wear them to gym. Thank you very much. We're yeah. going to deliberate and then Thank call you. you back. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, with my pitch, I'm, I'm pretty confident. I started off nervous, but as I kept going, I was comfortable. So I'm pretty com confident about it. You're still going to need what, uh, the machine to go there to go test if the equipment is working. Mister, this thing, once we get this machine, it will look like it will over credit for our company. I'm a pitcher, my chap says Wednesday. Sell a pitcher, you ought to you train. I'm a church is wait. I'm Missel and Gomsevens well. Go to a foot no pitch. I go on into Lulaga cool. Capamut is one against Israel and the lies of pitch, a puma la poil rebull. I guess is Utum Pishwakien, Utin Gallin says. So Lebohang is very customer oriented in his product and in his business. That makes sure that he'll take care of service delivery and that kind of thing. You can see when you talk to him that he's very passionate about his business. That tenure that he has around his business is a successful edge. And I think the judges will pick up on that and will credit him for that. Puti. Right. Welcome. Picha kyo kinago zo All right. Mm-hmm. Uzizo kanjali? Ah, gifila gilimu naatina. I'm happy. Or gitlo kono feta today. Mm. Because I have a lot to do, so I have maybe the never seen an authority completed this thing, but mm. I'm, I'm like I'm prepared now. Shona Kona, I'm a church I3, Baglin Dile. Only have one chance, Nam Slanju, Picha. I give second chance. There's no way of foot, so Picha foot takes us. Okay. All the best in this. Okay, no, thank you. Good afternoon. Welcome to Making Moves. To Melama Africa. Bonjour, Ngabuti. Kemanati. What's up? Too much. All right. Uh, are you ready? I'm ready, Mister. Okay. Clock at three minutes. Okay. Um, you're going to talk to us about your business. Okay. Camera picture. How we're going to do some question and answer. Okay. And then uh, call amongst ourselves and call you back. Okay. Your three minutes starts now. Okay. My name is Lebohan Lerebolo, the director and the founder of Lerebolo Technologies. Basically, we do medical equipment. We specialize on vital sign monitor and defibrillator. So today, uh, I'm just going to show you my task that I have done. Uh, they gave me uh, to, to go back and do the website. So I've done the website. This is the website for Lerebolo Technologies. Yes, so it's one of, this one is one of uh, the project I was working at Laratong Hospital. So uh, while Rebelo Technologies deserve 50,000, we want to buy a testing equipment, which is a, a patient simulator. It's a testing equipment. It's only one. And then it costs 40,380.23 cents. And then that testing equipment, it will, it will allow us to test each and every vital sign monitor that we, that, that we are going to repair and then we also have toolkit toolkit to do clock as three and then they cost two thousand and then all in all is six thousand so we're going to also need a soldering station a soldering iron with a station which cost eight hundred and fifty four fifty four rand and then all in all shelter thing is a uh, fifty three thousand eight hundred and forty seven 
and two cent. We, we have included already Levete Kamakhare. So if we can win this 50,000 at the end of the day, we'll be able to train those 10 uh, candidates at TUT so that uh, they can be uh, skillful at the end of the day to go and fix the machine because we only need the equipment which is here. And then if maybe those people, if maybe you guys you can give me that 50,000, I'll be able again to test my equipment at our workshop and then we all Again, we are going to help the uh, Department of Health to create more uh, a job like local local job for, for for us because most of the company which are doing this are from are from overseas. So we are local uh, supplier. So this is the patient a, a patient simulator that I'm talking about. This is a, a strong patient simulator that allows us to do the job at the end of the day. We don't need us to go and t uh, uh, outsource the testing. We're going to have a, a strong team that we're going to use this testing equipment. Because as I said before, we, we also ha we already have 10 people in place with the Department of Education. So next year, the, the project start. So this is the machine, we call it the incubator. This incubator, we want the real technologies at the end of the day to know how to fix, because now we only supply uh, the accessories for, for, for this incubator. Like, uh, uh, like if you can see on, the, on this picture, there's a vital sign monitor there which means it's where we get in as Lerebolo Technologies, because this machine is from Philips, but it's uh, Philips, they... Okay, uh, your time is up, sir. Okay, no thanks. So we'll use this time as okay. a question and answer session. I'm battling to understand your business. Okay. You sell medical equipment? Yes. You fix medical equipment? We supply again, yes. Very specific medical equipment? Yes. So you sell other people's brands, I get Yes. Don't those people offer their own warranties? So once you've sold, why is there a need for you to fix? Uh, actually, the remote technology is up to so far because you are still young as a company. You are fixing the old machine at the hospital because those one who has the warranty, the remote technology don't fix it. But once the warranty end up, as like the warranty takes maybe one year. And then after one year is where we get in, we can fix those machines. But now as Lerablo Technologies, we have a, a, a contract that we are going to sign with a Draga. If you know, Draga is the big company when it comes to medical equipment. They are going to, uh, Lerablo Technologies is going to distribute their machine. So it's where we get in because they're going to train us how to fix other machines that we don't do. Like we are talking about uh, anesthetic machine. That's the big machine that we don't have that they're going to offer us. The accreditation that you have, is it to fix all brand, brands or is it a specific brand that you fix? For now, uh, for all medical equipment, we have been accredited for all medical equipment. Okay. So now as Lerablo Technologies only fix two machines. So as I show you the last one, this one also, we're going to fix it at the end of the day. By next of maybe next year, June, we'll be, we'll, like, we'll be able to fix this machine. You've got this uh, uh, Team Star House Day 3. Yes. Because Cut Toolbox Day 3, you will get uh, Team Day 3 out. Yes. But you still have got one testing equipment. Yes. So whether Buffix are three machines uh, uh, on different sides, you're still going to need uh, the machine to go there to go test if the equipment is working the same way as you are sending the machine somewhere to be calibrated. Mr. This thing, once we get this machine, it will look like it's over credit for our company because that testing equipment, it will make us, it, it will help us to get another testing equipment at the end of the day. Um, we sign in, then we'll call you back. Okay, no, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, right. Yeah, because I do so I think Pichaket was fine. It's very simple maths. It okay. doesn't have to be more complicated than that. He can have more money in his bank account by finding a different service provider to outsource to. It's not going to give us the return. That is impressive. Alright guys, so we've almost reached the end of our process today. We're going to announce to one entrepreneur 
that they're walking away with 50,000. But more difficult is we're going to have to tell three other entrepreneurs that um, they haven't succeeded in this process. So what are your thoughts on, uh, let's start with Lebo and his medical equipment business. Mm. What are your thoughts? The 50,000 rent is not going to bring any scalability in that business. The business needs much more than that to scale it. And that's just where my worry is. I, I, I feel that where it goes in, it should be where it will have much more impact now. Um, it will be like a drop in the ocean. The 50,000 rand, the impact of the 50,000 rand will, will definitely have you know, an improvement, will improve its, his margins and his profit. But uh, same, I, I, I agree with you that I haven't seen the um, demonstration of how that will then grow the business itself and take the business to the next level. It's a very simple maths. He makes 10 rand, he charges 10 rand per machine yeah. that he fixes. Yeah. Currently, he's giving away five rand. Yeah. We give him 50,000, he keeps the five rand. It's very simple maths. It okay. doesn't have to be more complicated than that. He can have more money in his bank account by finding a different service provider to outsource to. Walk fresh. Walk what fresh. are your thoughts? I think my, my thoughts on Walk Fresh is the amount of investment, great business and all, but the amount of investment that's required will only unlock, although 30% sounds much, but we're really talking about 4,000 rand increase in his business. So I'm investing 50,000 rand over a 12 month period. Um, yeah, really, I, me, I, I think it's a, yeah. I don't think the investment is worth uh, the, um, the f when I'm measuring the impact, the investment I'm going to be putting in is not going to give me maximum returns or returns I could be getting. I, 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 like, I like them as a business. He's got a good business. He does. He's got an interesting mm, business. If I was in his shoes, I would spend the money, I would stay where I am, and I would spend the money on just like a, a broader Increasing the network. market. Network exactly. So I would mm. create more drop off spaces. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would try and be yes. in as many more, more laundromats as possible. The gyms, like we mm -hmm. said. Gyms, all of that yeah. kind of stuff. All right, let's talk Lefika. I agree. I would, look, I would consider the investment in the business for two major reasons. One is that it does not only um, you know, fit into their value chain. It doesn't only support their value chain and help them to do things easier, better, more efficient, etc. But it does unlock an additional revenue stream for the business. And that for me is growth. One, one area that I'm sitting with that concerned me largely was the quality of the furniture itself. And by him getting a lathe machine, it's going to be able to resolve that for him. People still want to buy what is proudly South African, as long as you can match the quality of those that you're competing with. People still want to buy what's proudly South African. Yes. Let's talk about uh, Kiddies Corner in Bali. What are your thoughts? I went through, I saw the business, um, nice business. Is it scalable? I believe it's scalable. It, 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 may be, it may be more work than the other ones in terms of scalability. I hate that word, scalability. <laughs> what does that mean? It's like narrative. It, it, like what it, does that mean, well, like scalability? Well, in, in the case of Mbali and that, if she perfects the model, um, at North Riding where she's operating now, she's talking about clients that are coming from Pretoria and everything and clients don't have to be driving all the way. But sometimes she can that's be not able the to point. open another These one These are there. SMEs. Maybe they don't want to run a business with multiple branches. Maybe she wants to run a successful hair salon for many years that caters for kids. But what I also do think will have an impact is the ability of her to be able to um, improve her customer experience, which, which is speak to her target market. Mm -hmm. And I think her trick right now, the target market, although it's the kiddies, the kiddies don't have a purse. So it's almost trying to say, how do you reach both kiddies and mommies and, you know? So I do think it will have impact uh, for her to be able to, to improve that. Is she the right? Entrepreneur? Is she the right entrepreneur? It's, it's time to make a, a, a decision, I suppose, about um, what business and which business you would like to give money to. So I'll start with you, Lucas. Who are you giving money sure. to? 
extremely difficult one to start with. I've got two entrepreneurs in mind, extremely strong. I've mentioned already the fact that it not only contributes to improving the value chain, but it also unlocks an additional revenue stream. You, you've put me in a bit of a position. Uh, let me let me let me apply my mind. Let's let's bring the entrepreneurs in and make the announcement. So. Babuela Pima Casa Bonilla won't come a pitch woman as we live. In the night, shooting Nanga Chabula with young Lonagi Chachila. Joa Pelagama Chach is with Kumele Bacate Umundoet, also Pumele Lulucello late Nam Sanch. Also, my business bet too, they did a good job one. Bowen Zilama Pichuabo, Benz Agelobu, Big Mele Bowens. I guess he's a Utama Chach is with two Nagi, Paponagan Janigi, young Kelentens Agel Nam Sanch. Bali, Letabo, Lebo, congratulations to all of you for making it this far. South Africa has seen you, has seen your businesses, and we hope you benefit from that exposure. The opinions we give you are of three experienced entrepreneurs, but we're not experts. Um, we don't have all the answers. You understand your business a lot better than anybody else, but we hope that the feedback we give you will give you something to reflect on, you'll learn something from it, and hopefully something comes through and changes um, aspects of your business. I'd like to just say a few words to Walk Fresh and uh, Le Revolo. So Litawa, I think your business is great and uh, you have, you're certainly ahead of the others who are in a similar business to yours. So well done on that. Um, what I think I just want to pose as a watch out for is really what's your cost to serve and uh, being able to carve out clearly what is it really costing you to put that whole service together and what are you getting it for it, what are you getting for it back and how do you improve those margins. But well done on a great business. With the Revolo, uh, I like the niche part of your business. You're very specialized, niche and focused and it is in, a, in an area that is um, you know, a scarce skill within the country. So that's very, very good positioning for you. Uh, what I would like to see more, more is really the queue of the business, the business queuing up and you not being able to, to serve, to deliver the, the service because you're just too busy. I'd like to see the volume come through, basically. Yeah. Lucas. I think maybe let me start with, uh, with Mbali. Um, Mbali, you've got a great or oh, you're in a, in a great industry. Um, I don't know if you have, as a business, been able to capture that. The problem that I want, I want you to start focus, be a little bit more creative in that space. Be creative, have imagination, think like a kid. You know, you remember that you're servicing kids. Think like a kid, when they get into the salon, what is it that is going to make kids jump up and down and that? And kids are very loyal clients. Once they love it, they will come back for more. So be a little bit, you know, I, I felt that you lacked a lot of imagination in that space to get things, things happening and that. Be more creative and that. Um, and then uh, what I need to start seeing from you is the quality. Okay, um, furniture business is a very cutthroat business. You're competing with Chinese manufacturers and everything and that, and, and they pushing stuff that is cheaper and that has got great quality. They able to do that because they pushing huge numbers, huge quantities. Now, if you go into that space and you are not pushing such quantities and that your quality has got to be your defining factor. So, guys, the person that's walking away with the 50,000.
on the basis that we believe that that money will make the most impact on their business. So when we did the maths and we said, if you put 50,000 here, what's going to come out on the other end? And how big is that shift going to be based on the investment? So purely from a numbers perspective, if you put in this money, what's coming out on the other side? The business that made the most sense. is Defos Furniture Business. Congratulations. And well done. Nice. Sure. Well, congrats, school. How are you feeling, man? I owe this to my mom. Yep. Yeah. And the kids, they'll get sanitaries and stuff as long as I'm alive. I owe this to them. But that money is not going to the charity. It's going into the business. Apart from the whole price money, there was so much value for us. We're doing things that we could have never imagined we'd be doing. Like, uh, the leadership program that we're planning right now, we're working on, I don't think we would have done that on our own if we hadn't been in this platform. So I really feel good about it, and it's a learning curve for us. It's, it's honestly a learning curve. It's not a lose. I don't think it's a lose. For me, I'm going back to being a child, and I hope that would also better my customers' experience. Since I feel more, my business is more leveling because the tips are really great. People buy a lot of money. Making moves, live on a banal that atmosphere on a right. Come on, Rumbat La Pelating every day. E, no boom, I expect tongue and flambutu to pumile. Ah, being I expect tongue, to be honest, putting the pumile, I was I was quite humbled by what just happened. And a Benga Tawang would he in those in fear who top four who mm. make him move on such a big uh, program and with uh, such. A great companies that mm. we are competing with and I've learned a lot from the guys that have been on the show and I've learned a lot since I've been on the show. Mm. So I can say from being on the show I've been like uh, running the business more professional and I'm proud of myself for doing it. Yeah. Mm. Well done. Good one. Good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm going to talk to you about the city of Nguyen. Si vala ganja lo gisi zini e tuge le ye making moves. Ukumbule gutu ena la peka ya. Ma tu zani nje, so besh kala isi zin enje. Uma ngabe wene la busuma business bubwa bwona la nage apaka inspire anguti na usuguume wenze something for yourself. Angsaz witi singa PUST ni. Suguuma wenze zinto zenze ege. And was banned. Kampe nao so besh bwona lapo ku making moves. And keep on making moves.